and it's on. Hey everybody, Cameron here for Sea Wolf One, the vlog channel, and I just got out of the movie Silent House. Uh, it's a movie movie that's in theaters right now. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but uh, if you haven't seen it and you don't want to know anything about it just yet, do not watch this video because I am going to spoil the hell out of it for you otherwise. So click away now, go watch anything else, go see the movie, then come hear me rant about what I just watched. But yeah, so here, blacking out, go away if you haven't seen the movie. Alright, for those of you who have seen the movie and, well, you know, still have the thoughts and memories from it that I just did, let's, let's continue on. Silent House was supposedly a real, uh, like a, like a snapshot of time taken out and put into film. There was, the way they filmed it made it seem like it was one continuous shot all the way through. I mean, there were some obvious places where it was like, okay, you know, with all this, you know, shaky cam that they could easily cut and split a clip in and keep going. But, uh, you know, that's that's the thought they did, that it was one continuous clip all the way through. And that was really cool. Like, there were some scenes that it flowed really, really well. And then there were other scenes where it was like, oh, okay, there. And there. And you could point it out. But overall, it was a really interesting movie. Um, it was about... For, once again, I'm I'm talking like you don't already know. All your other people have sure already left. But the movie was about what I got out of it was it was about this girl and her uncle and her dad were fixing up an old house that they were going to sell because, well, they didn't want to fix up and take care of the house anymore. Nobody was going to it, something like that. The house was super out of date. All the windows were busted out, meaning that they don't go there that often. So all the windows were boarded up. The electricity of the place was destroyed. And it just, you know, the, it, there wasn't anything to it. Something I did like about the movie is that it went to from normal, very like, you know, like this is a family, you know, you, you understand who they are, into what the fuck just happened. Like, it gets real quiet, it gets suspenseful. Um, you always constantly think that someone is going to pop out. And that's kind of one of the things I look for in a good movie is that when they don't take the obvious. You know, they don't do the, ah! you know, the, the jump out and freak out at you scenes. Now, there were a couple of scenes like that when she was taking the photos for, that was the only way she could get light, was when she took a photo and there was one photo where a guy was like, Arr! but that was, that was about it. Uh, I guess there was a few scenes with the little girl that popped in in there. Little girl, by the way. You know, on a scary movie, you put a little girl in it. That's that's just common sense. But uh, the movie overall was very, very interesting. Uh, let me think. What else can I say about this film? The, well, I mean, I enjoyed it. And, like, I was thinking, okay, okay, they've been doing this for a while now. When do we get to our peak? When do we get to the hype? And, like, I could tell it was just getting closer and closer. And then, like, the scene where we finally, like saw other people that weren't, like, you know, the father, the uncle, or the daughter, and it was finally just this little girl and this bigger man who was, like, I don't know, just something was off about him. Maybe he was just really dirty or something. But, like, after we saw the two of them make eye contact with the girl and make no effort to go after her or, like, chase her, that was another thing throughout the whole movie. There was no one chasing or doing anything like that. It was the only reason the movie continued on or, you know, went anywhere was because the girl followed the one rule of, you know, don't, if you're lost, don't keep running off further into being lost. Now, if someone's chasing you and coming after you and you have no way of going anywhere else, you don't have any thought process that you've conveyed to yourself even, I mean, to the audience, we were confused the whole time. It's like, you know, she knows how to perfectly get around this house, but there was, like, little to no talking. It was just a scare film the whole way through. You're just like, what's going to happen? What's going on? But she didn't follow the rule, going back, uh, she didn't follow the rule that, you know, if you think there's someone right outside that door, stay in that room. Just 
stay in that room. The uncle will come back, or someone will come in and check in on that house pretty soon. You're expecting this, like that. That's something that you know is going to happen. That the uncle's coming back. You find your dad dead, but you know, or at least you think he's dead. Whatever. Um, you find him saying, oh, okay, you know, someone's in this house, and he's right outside that door. Just because it's quiet doesn't mean you can just go back out into the house and start wandering around the house. And, you know, the movie just kind of goes back and forth with stuff like that, and then in the end, where it turns to be that she has so many blocked memories and such a crazy psyche that she, like, makes up things that she's seen... That, like, I mean, you don't understand the reason for the blurry edges. Like, there are so many scenes where the only thing clear and in focus is her. Like, there are multiple, multiple scenes where it is just her in focus, and you're like, what is going on? What is, like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Why, why is this going on? But that's because the only thing that is clear and in focus is that if she is actually there, and that her dad is actually there, and that her uncle is actually there. Everyone else is out of focus or blurred or looks funny and doesn't make sense because it's not really there or it's not really happening. There's a point where you we see her friend and it's like, I don't remember you. Like, who are you? What's this? And it turns out that she's just someone made up out of her own imagination. Like, blah. Like, that explodes your brain just immediately. And then in the end... <laughs> She, like, tries to stab at her friend. Her friend says, stop hurting yourself. She looks at her hand. She's really just cut her own hand. Looks back down. Her friend's disappeared. It's like, what the fuck? And you find out that the reason she's so in and out of remembering things from the past and why things are skewed now and so messed up for her now is because that apparently her dad and her uncle used to rape her or something. You never see, like, what they... Dude, you just kind of get this creepy vibe here and in and out of the whole film that something's not quite right. Originally, you just think it's the uncle who's the messed up one, like, has, like, weird, you know, oh, you, you know, you're growing up so quick, you know, da 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 creepy vibe from, but then eventually at the end, it's just like, whoa, dad was the, you know, rapist out of everything, and dad, uncle was just kind of a watcher kind of guy fucked up, but it switches so quickly in the end, and then he, she slams his head with, she's, the daughter, like, you know, like, after, like, kind of all of a sudden having it all flushed back to her, it, the movie ends with the daughter picking up a sledgehammer, smashing in her father's head, which you also don't see, there's not a lot of gore in this film, honestly, uh, which you don't see, and just leaves the uncle to watch the brother die, which is a whole set of thoughts right there, just psychologically. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Anyway, and then she walks out the house and it fades to black. Like, nothing is resolved and you're left with questions, which is can be good. I mean, it was, a, it's just, it's confusing. It was, don't, go see this in theaters, rent this, rent this movie, that's, that's about all I can say, I've, I've yammered forever, I've given like little bits and pieces to the movie, so like I said, I mean, if you've seen the movie, you get what I'm saying, if you've not seen the movie, I have brain fucked you, you have no idea what this movie's probably about, but I gave it a shot, but, I guess, see the movie, don't go in theaters though, I mean, I don't suggest it, unless you really don't care how much money you're spending, I mean, I know at some ticket places you're looking at $12, $15 to go see a movie. Don't spend $12 or $15 to go see this movie. Wait for Redbox or go buy it at a Blockbuster or something or download it off the internet. Uh, whatever. Anyway, you don't go see this in theaters. It's, it's an interesting movie. I'm glad I went and watched it by myself. I had nobody there to bother me. That was a good choice. But anyways, guys, remember this is a shout-out show. Just ask for a shout-out in the comments down below. Till next time, my name's Cameron. This be Seawolf1. You all some lovely people. I'm just confused and yammering. But till then, see ya!